Hey everyone, uh, this is Medical Terminology, the Basics Lesson 2, and in this lesson I'm going to talk to you guys about medical terminology with regards to medical conditions and medical processes. So this is actually a continuation of Medical Terminology, the Basics Lesson 1, and at the end of this video I'm going to take what you guys have learned from Lesson 1 and Lesson 2 and give you guys some practice problems to help you use the information you've learned from both of these lessons to help better understand and better get a grasp at deciphering medical terminology. There's many different processes, guys. Um, I suggest taking notes for this. So the first one is dys, D-Y-S. That means just problem or something abnormal. So again, um, as I mentioned, dyspnea. If there's some abnormal pr pattern of breathing. Mal is bad, so maladaptive. Itis. Um, so this, this is a suffix, itis. This is a very important one, guys. If you can remember itis, you will know a lot of different... Uh, a lot of different types of medical conditions, colitis, uh, gastroenteritis, arthritis, they all have to do with inflammation. Uh, another one is plasia, a process of growth or growing. Another one is plasma, uh, that's just a growth or formation. Uh, the next one is oma, uh, that means tumor, um, so uh, a sarcoma. Uh, typically, when you see OMA, you can think of cancer in that regard. Another one is trophy, so that uh, typically means growth as well. Growth, um, uh, typically involving cellular growth, and this doesn't mean uh, division. It actually means just uh, a growing in size. There's no uh, there's no growth in number, but a growth in size. So that's the difference between plasia and trophy. The next one is pathy, uh, which means disease. So, um, uh, you know, neuropathy is one to, to think about, uh, disease of nerves. Osis is typically used, and that just um, means a condition and usually means an abnormal condition when you say it. Another one is ia. Um, so this one at the end of a word, ia, uh, like uh, ab, is another, again, another... Uh, way of saying an abnormal condition. Ism is just a state of, and, and just think of, again about hypothyroidism. Um, that's just a state of a low thyroid activity or low, low thyroid functioning. And the next one is ick or eel. Um, and that just means pertaining to or related to some process. So cephalic or esophageal it just really means pertaining to the the subject or pertaining to the process uh, at hand some more processes again um, meta and this is a uh, prefix actually that means chains or transformation so metaplasia there's a transformation in cell type um, another one is stasis or static that just means a maintenance of normal conditions so we all know homeostasis so homeo is body stasis is main maintenance of normal conditions you're maintaining your body in um, n within normal conditions and the opposite of stasis or static is dynamic and that means changing or uh, and it's usually usually involving continual change and for this one you can think of hemodynamic Another one um, that is no, uh, common is lytic or lysis. So uh, that just means destruction. So when you think of hemolytic or hemolysis, it's destruction of blood or destruction of red blood cells. Megaly um, means enlarge. And uh, you may have remembered earlier about, uh, I had mentioned megalo. This is just another way of, of using that, uh, that term. Um, you can use it as, uh, instead of using it as a prefix, you can also use it as a suffix. So that just means enlarged. Penia uh, means decreased or below or lower than normal. So for that one, you can think of cytopenia. So a decrease in cell number or um, your number of cells is below normal. And emia is uh, relating to a blood condition. So uh, you can think of anemia. So the next uh, group of suffixes that I want to teach you guys is about medical procedures. 
So again, there's a lot of medical procedures. So again, just take notes while I go along. So the first one I want to talk to you guys about is ectomy, which just means excision or removal. So you can again, you can think of uh, uh, appendectomy. Uh, you're removing or excising your appendix. Another one is otomy. Um, that's uh, an incision or cutting. Uh, you can think of uh, tracheotomy. You're cutting or in, uh, cutting into your trachea. Ostomy, um, so you can think of a colostomy bag. It's kind of like making a hole. Um, so it's a little bit different than otomy. Otomy is making a cut. Ostomy is making a hole for some kind of connection. Scopy, um, you can think of microscope uh, or microscopy. Um, that's just to view. That's all that means. Graph or graphy uh, just, is just meaning the process of recording. So uh, a sonograph is, uh, you know, the instrument for recording sound, um, or sonography is the process of recording sound. And again, a, a gram is just recording. So a mammogram is just a recording of your mammary gland. A plasty is a surgical repair. So again, remember, as I mentioned, angioplasty, you're surgically repairing your, your artery. And another one is therapy, um, and that's pretty easy. That just means treatment. Another few things that I want to tell you guys about, um, these, are, these are actually prefixes that go along with a lot of these. Um, one is chemo, so that means chemical. So again, chemotherapy is just chemical treatment. That's all it means. It's just a chemical treatment. Echo or sono, again, that means sound. So remember how I mentioned uh, um, echo, um, echo, say you can think of an echocardiogram. You're, you are using sound to look at your heart, and that's a recording of that. So echocardiogram. Um, and electro, um, that's pertaining to electrical charge, and that's typically, again, used in electrocardiogram. Um, you can think of like an ECG. That's looking at the electrical charge going through your heart. And here are a few practice ones. So I'll just go over these uh, quickly. Um, the first one is hypertrophy. So what does that mean? Well, just break it down again, guys. Hyper equals above normal. Trophy is growth. And again, the trophy is not a, uh, a growth in the sense of uh, a growth in number of cells. It's actually a growth in the size of cells. So the next word is normotension. So we'll just break it down again. Normo equals normal. Tension, again, equals pressure. So normal pressure. So in the context of uh, blood pressure, you can think of norm your normal tensive or your normal tension. So you have a normal blood pressure. Hyperplasia, again, break it down. Hyper, above normal or high. Plasia equals growth. So again, I just use that to just emphasize the difference between hyperplasia and hypertrophy. Hypertrophy is growth in size. Hyperplasia is growth in number. Pancytopenia. So this one might be a little bit more tricky. We'll, we'll just break it down um, piece by piece. So pan equals all, again. Cyto is cell. And penia just means decreased or low levels. So really just means all cells uh, are decreased or low at low levels. So you can you might hear a lot of this in a clinic. Um, or an oncology clinic where the a patient might be pancytopenic. And that just means that uh, a lot of their blood uh, types, say like erythrocytes and leukocytes, are all decreased. So they just use that term pancytopenia. And the last one is splenomegaly. So uh, spleno just means spleen, and megaly just means enlarged. So all that means is an enlarged spleen. So um, that's, that's, see, once you break it down, guys, it makes it really easy.